Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn the relational operators in C. So the relational operators are used to compare two variables and it will return 1 if the comparison or relation is true, otherwise it will be returning 0. Now let us see the major relational operators. First we have equal to equal to which checks if both left and right operands are the same. So see an example we have 10 equal to equal to 10. So the comparison is true so it will be returning 1. And next we have 10 equal to equal to 7. Now it is false since 10 is not equal to 7 so the comparison returns 0. Next relational operator is exclamation mark equal to which is the not equal to symbol. And it checks if the left and right operands are not equal to each other. So see this example we have 10 not equal to 20 and it will be returning true and then we have 10 not equal to 10 which will return false since it is equal. Next is the less than operator so it checks if the left operand is less than the right operand. So the expression 5 less than 10 will return true and the expression 10 less than 10 will return false. Next is the less than or equal to operator and it checks if the left operand is less than or equal to the right operand. So 10 less than or equal to 10 will return true since it is equal and 20 less than or equal to 10 will return false since 20 is not less than 10 and also it is not equal to 10. Next is the greater than operator and it checks if the left operand is greater than the right operand. So 50 greater than 10 will return true and 5 greater than 10 will return false. Next is the greater than or equal to operator and it checks if the left operand is greater than or equal to the right operand. So 10 greater than or equal to 10 will return true since it is equal and 5 greater than or equal to 10 will return false since 5 is not greater than 10 and it is not equal to 10. Now see a program here we have the main function and we are declaring two integer variables a equal to 5 and b equal to 10 and we have some print functions here. The first print function will print return value of percentage %d equal to equal to percentage %d is percentage %d. So we have the first percentage %d corresponding to a, the second one corresponding to b and the third one corresponding to the expression a equal to equal to b. So as we discussed this expression a equal to equal to b. It will be returning 1 if the comparison is true otherwise it will be returning 0. So here 5 is not equal to 10. So third integer printed will be 0. And the output of the first print function will be the return value of 5 equal to equal to 10 is 0. Similarly the next statement will print return value of 5 not equal to 10 is 1. And the next function will print return value of 5 less than 10 is 1 since 5 is less than 10. And the next function will print return value of 5 less than or equal to 10 is 1 since 5 is less than 10. And the next print function will print return value of 5 greater than 10 is 0 since 5 is not greater than 10. And finally this function will print return value of 5 greater than or equal to 10 is 0 since 5 is not greater than 10 and it is not equal to 10. Hi guys, now you can get a lot of features in the official log to base 2 website, easy registration and login process. And once you log in, you can access a lot of amazing courses. You can watch the visual tutorials, you can see the examples, solve puzzles and finally practice problems, all in a single page. Visit www.log2base2.com where learning is fun and beautiful. And don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this.